we created a hiking buddy, which we affectionately named the Robo Doge, um, and 3D printed a little Doge head on there. So the idea behind this was we wanted a robot that would follow a hiker um, using a user programmable color. So right now we have it programmed in orange. Um, also, we wanted it to be able to drive over a moderately rough terrain, so that's why we have six-wheel drive, and then we push the wheels up a little bit to, to aid in that. And then we also wanted it to be able to carry a load, so we have gear storage in the back here. Some of the other features we wanted to include with it was some way to start and stop it remotely, so we have a key fob for that. And we wanted to be able to have the distance at which the robot follows variable. And then we wanted to show location data through a GPS. You can see the camera's following me around as I move. Uh, currently the robot is powered up, but I have it set on hold though. So the blue LED is telling us that the robot it knows where I am, but it's not moving right now. We have the three Arduinos that are uh, controlling various functions. There's one Arduino that's driving the pan and tilt servos on the camera, and also interpreting the directions from, from the pixie cam. We have another Arduino that is driving the audio, and another one that is driving the LCD display. It starts on a menu that just says hello, basically, and then we've got a button where you can press this and you can see the uh, compass heading. And uh, if there is GPS data, you can see the GPS coordinates up, up to five uh, decimals, as well as on the next menu, altitude. So those are both from a GPS chip that interfaces with uh, this display controller. Uh, it also says the follow distance that it's set distance increased. And so you can increase and decrease the following distance from the key fob. Following distance decreased. Following distance decreased. Following distance increased. The final menu shows you whether you're in holding mode or running mode. So this says holding mode, press B to run. Target found. Running. And both of those motors came from each kid's motor scooter. And then the, the chain is all from bikes. The gearing from there as well. And so all of the gears are matched. So we have one to one gear ratio. So there's no gear reduction. The chassis is uh, eighth inch two by one C channel, uh, which we then cut and welded together so that we can kind of make a solid chassis. Uh, we also did a, a custom sheet metal storage box because you can store your gear uh, or if you're hiking with friends, the idea being that you can store nice sodas in there and then once you get to your destination, open your soda <laughs> and enjoy it. I should bring it in. Like this is serious. You'll start to follow it closer and it's like it it close, closest range. And then you'll keep doing at that range. So at its farthest, it falls about 20 feet behind you. At its closest, it falls about six and a half feet. 